Hi, this is Dr. Don. I have a problem out of the Module 2 assignment in Business 431. This is the Part 3A that I want to show you. And in this Part 3, you're given data on four models of SSDs, and you're asked to find the percent fail for each of those models and also to find the percent fail for each of the samples for each of the models. And the data here may look a little bit different than yours. I've hidden some columns and rows to make it easier. There are 30 samples, one through 30, for each model. And then there's 100 observations for each sample for each model. So you can just do the math real quick. That means there's a total of 3,000 observations for model X and another 3,000 for model Y and so on. Now the first thing you need to do is to find the percent fails for each of the 30 samples. And the way I'm going to do that is just to click down here below. I'm going to add in four rows to get a little bit of space and insert those. So now I've got room. I'm going to put some labels here counts. Now I've got those rows labeled. I'm going to put my cursor there and hit equal and start counting, start typing count. And there are a number of count functions. We want to count the cells that have text in it. So we look for the count A and it just says cells that are not empty. So I'm going to double click that to select it. And then I'm going to go to my first sample and highlight all 100 and hit enter and that gives me the count which is going to be the same for all of these and then the fails I'm going to go equal count this time I want count if and the range will be the same range comma and I want to count every time it sees fail whoops it's got to be spelled exactly, so let me get rid of the S there and hit enter. And it shows I've got five fails on that first sample of model X. And of course, that gives me a percent of that divided by that 0.05. And I'm going to change that to percent and add a couple of decimal places. So that's 5% fails for the first sample of Model X. Now I'm just going to drag that across to get the same information for all 30 samples for Model X. And we've got the uh, fails for each of those. And now I'm going to add a column over here for totals for Mod X. And I'm just going to use the sum function to drag across and sum those up which of course shows 3000 as we should and then I drag it down to get the total fails for model X and then I want to go here and drag that formula this way to get the percentage fails for model X so that is the first part and of course you should go ahead and format this to make it more readable and do the same thing for model Y, model Z, and model W or whatever your models are labeled. And that would be one way you can satisfy that first part. The next part would be to take these totals and put them into a summary table. I want to sh show you one way of constructing your summary table. And I've put it up here, I've added on to the right of my data and I've created a little table for my four models and then the overall I want the count, the count of the fails, and the percent of fails for each of those. I'm just going to show you the first one. I'm going to click in that cell, hit equal, then I'm going to go down to my mod X there, click on that cell, and hit enter, and that gives me that information. My fails, I'm going to click in that cell, enter, and click there to get my 
fails and then my percent fail I'm going to click that cell and click down here and then I've got these length and the reason I want to link this information is so that it's always up to date if I got new information over here let's say we had one more failure update that information there it updates here and it updates there and of course you do the same thing for your other three models to and then use just sum and divide down here okay I've completed the table using the same process now I'm going to show you very briefly how to construct a chart from this I'm going to select my model column there hold down the control key and I'm going to select the last two columns the fail count and the percent fail and let go of the control key and go to insert recommended charts and Excel will think about it and recommend a chart you may get something slightly different mine came up with a cluster column chart and I'm gonna say I'm gonna accept that click OK and so I've got the basic chart there and of course you will need to format the chart put the axis titles on there put appropriate chart title you may want to change some things here if you're a purist these um, the percent fails are not really a continuous distribution but for communicating uh, I kind of like this one thing I would do would be to click on first the columns there right click and add my data labels there so I've got my counts on top and then I'm going to click on the orange line right click again add data labels and that way I've got my percentages and what you can do is click on each one of those and drag it to move it and then format it so it's a little more legible but that's a quick way of creating a chart and again you've got to format it properly to make it communicate but it's that simple Hope this helps.